Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about whether or not an iron remover is worth putting into your detailing arsenal. Uh, typically, everyone uses detail clay, but the purpose of today's video is just to show you the benefits of using an iron remover and whether or not you think it's right for you. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is my 2016 Ram 1500. Typically, most of my videos are about my 2004 C5 Corvette. But uh, since today we're going to be talking about an iron remover, I figured it's better to show you on a white car. And I know this car is a little rough as far as contaminants goes. And we're going to be using Adam's uh, iron remover on here. Now, the car has been uh, washed. Now for this video, I'm going to use detail clay on half the hood and just to show you um, if there are any contaminants that are left over from the clay bar that iron remover can get. And then obviously the rest of the car, rest of the truck I'll do with iron remover just to show you again, it, does detail clay do a good enough job and do you even need that or should you use both? Now in order to tell if there's any contaminants on the hood, what we're going to use, we're just going to use the old Ziploc bag test. So you just rub on the paint and you'll be able to feel it. Now I know this is the camera, but I'm telling you right now this is, this is pretty bumpy. Let's see if you can hear it. Right, so that's this side. And I mean this whole, the whole hood is like that. So let's go over to this side of the hood. And it's all the same. So that's how I know that the contamination on this car is pretty bad. All right, so first, like I said, we're gonna use the clay bar on this one side of the hood. What I'm using as a clay lubricant is just soap and water from my soap and water bucket when I wash the car. So now we'll just get the clay. That's what the clay bar looked like. Definitely picked up some stuff. I can hear it grabbing, and eventually it does slide pretty nicely. So, clay bar is definitely picking up some of that contamination. Alright, so like you saw, I clayed this half of the hood, so we'll use the bag test again just to show you that the clay actually did do something. I mean, there's still a little bit of contamination there, but I can't hear anything. I hope that's coming up on camera. I can definitely feel the difference. See no sound there. And that's where it sounds like sandpaper. So, clay bar definitely helped, but let's see um, if the iron remover removes any more than what the clay bar removed. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I am using Adam's iron remover, but all iron removers are pretty much the same, whether you're using this one, Iron X, or something even cheaper. They all have the same active ingredient. Once you put it onto the car, um, anything that's iron will turn purple, and your car will look like it's bleeding. Now, in order to put it on, you can use this is uh, the IK uh, pump sprayer, but you can use anything. You can use a spray bottle. You can use anything you really want just to spray it onto the paint. Now, the only precaution that you need to do, as you can see, the car is in the shade. Um, it's probably low 80s right now, but the car is cool to the touch. All right. You don't want the paint too hot. You don't want this stuff to uh, dry on the paint. So you just want to spray it on, let it work for a few minutes, and then spray it, and then you can just wash it off. All right, now one other thing before I start spraying this stuff. You, you do want the car to be relatively dry. You don't want it to be soaking wet. Um, you don't need it completely 100% dry, but obviously any water that's on there will dilute the effectiveness of the iron remover. So you just want it mostly dry, but it doesn't have to be completely dry.
All right, so I just finished spraying down the car, the entire car with the iron remover. As you can see, this is the left side, right? That I did in clay bar. You see how it's all bleeding pretty purple? No, not terribly, but it is. And then the, here on the right side, the side that I did use the clay bar on, eh, there's a little bit here and there that is bleeding purple. But um, we will let that sit a little bit longer. Here's the rest of the car. I'll just give you a quick little walk around. Now the rest of the car did not clay any of it. Now this is literally just put on there. So we have to let it work for a little bit. Definitely see a lot of purple specks some better than others obviously this is that's pretty good but you can definitely see all the purple specks everywhere the rear tailgate it's usually the rear of the car is worse than the front of the car and you can see all the iron that was on there So obviously the longer this works, the more iron you're going to see that comes off. And um, I'll let this sit for a few more minutes um, just before it starts drying. And I'll bring you back in, see if there's any difference here. I mean, that's just after, I don't know, maybe two minutes. So you see how bad the hood was or is. And the side that I did clay bar, clay bar looked like it actually did take a lot off. I mean, there's a few spots here and there that it didn't do, but that could just be, I mean, I did clay bar in a rush, so. All right, so another minute or two went by. Not a huge change from where I left you before, but uh, it is starting to dry a little bit in some areas. So I am going to begin spraying this off or rinsing it off. And um, we'll go from there. All right, so here we are after the car has dried. We will again do the baggie test. This side is pretty smooth. There's a, f I mean, I know you can't hear it, right? You can't hear anything, but there are still some contaminants on the paint. And as we come over here, definitely less contamination than before, but there's still contamination on that side. Now, the iron remover obviously gets rid of all the iron deposits and all that contamination, but the or but the regular contamination that's bonded to the paint that's not metallic, it obviously doesn't take that off. So, is this side, this side's definitely smoother than this side, even just bare hand and still feel the difference. But then, of course, you know, it's personal preference. It's up to you whether or not you think you need an iron remover or not. I personally do use one uh, when I do this with the cars after this video I'm probably gonna be doing like a one-step correction on the truck um, like I said I got it a few months ago haven't done anything to it uh, except just wash it a few times so the truck is in dire need of at least a one-step after you use the iron remover you are gonna still want to go back and clay bar the car but at least now it's gonna be a little bit easier it's gonna take you a little bit less time because a lot of that contamination is out of the way so now it's gonna be a lot quicker so down in the comments below, let me know what you think, um, or if you yourself use an iron remover, and if you think I forgot anything, or maybe I missed a step, or any other precautions that you use. But I personally think using an iron remover and a clay bar is better than just using a clay bar, but obviously, you know, iron removers aren't cheap. So this video isn't to convince you that you need an iron remover, it's just to show you what the benefits are of using one, if you've never tried it before, and maybe you're curious into trying it. 
So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.